Hello guys and welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be talking about what the newest update to come to ERLC could be because we've got a lot and a lot of different options obviously because nobody knows where these updates are going to take us now with ERLC growing at such a speed and also so many new updates but first of all thinking about this probably will not be the next next update but possibly towards the um, end of this year we have got the SWAT and the Detective Game Pass which are two large game passes for the police team we've also got the FD Special Operations Game Pass quite a large game pass for the fire team sorry about that and also the um, unlawful upgrades game pass which is quite a large game pass for the civilian aka slash kind of similar to related to the criminal team but you know it is classed as civilian in the game um could we be getting a large DOT Game Pass update. So DOT does rarely get updated, but when it does, it could be quite a large update. We have the new truck to the cone truck, and also the kind of AI coin if you like. They are some kind of an AI core for the DOT team. Um, because the major cores are quite DOT and fire, mainly fire. But um, it doesn't. Act, there's not really many of them in public servers, so you know. Just like that, yeah, I'll do the DOT first. Because DOT, what could the Game Pass be? I have a big suspicion, hence the thumbnail, that there could be a new DOT Game Pass. But I'm trying to work out what could be in that Game Pass. Um, maybe like a road enforcement unit. Like, here we have like councils where in britain i don't really know what you call them in america like a small speed trapping unit who then can like call the police maybe we could get that that seems quite unlikely though but yeah i think we will get quite a large dot update pr pr probably probably in a game pass but i'm trying to work out what that could be um my next idea is that we could be getting well, I think this is almost certain that we're going to get some type of update for the um, hazmat in to do with like spawning in public and private servers because we've not really had a lot of stuff to do with hazmat. Well, actually, no, we've had a lot of stuff to do with hazmat, like the oil spill and the chemical spill, but we've not really got enough to do in a public server you've got the game pass for 400 robux and the amount of tools you get it seems kind of pointless because you can't um really like do a lot with the hazmat game pass on the in the public server or even just in a, a role play server when there's not a lot of mods online just trying to play you don't want to be spawning major cores all the time because obviously they've also got the 10 minute limit and only two of them are hazmat so you want to be spawning other ones so we need a lot more to do like just general cores that we could respond to so maybe we could just have a house the these are auto spawn they've got a bit of a spilling inside maybe an ai so ems can respond or maybe the um maybe what happens is you get your medic bag and it has not get the medic bag heal them and then they just disappear then you've got a clear the little spray um maybe actually you could pick them up walk through the shower with them put them in a tent and then they despawn that would be cool um and then you have to like block off the house something like that and maybe there's a call where somebody gets stuck at the top of a mountain and you have to get up there with your you can like block the scene off bring them down and put them in your tent and then they despawn something like that or maybe you put them in an ambulance although you don't want to have too many people you don't want to have EMTs, firefighters and hazmat responding because they just want small calls that you can just respond to preferably even on your own if you're the only person because even with the new game pass FD is still quite um, an underused team civilian and 
Civilian and police are the most full, and then when there's updates, every now and again it fills up. Most of the time, even there's updates, it doesn't that much. Um, and then obviously people start joining the sheriff when the police team gets full. And that kind of happens a lot. Uh, that's a lot of what I thought at the moment. So, I don't really know. You know obviously, definitely going to have some big updates. Now, the fuel tanker. Obviously, we've got a fuel truck. Um, oh dear, we're getting discords. Um, and we had the fuel tanker for a long time and it couldn't really be used. The fuel truck can be used. But, I'm just going to reset because I'm going to show you guys something. The fuel truck can be used, but it's... Obviously, you've got to try and get other players to interact with you. So there's actually two options with this theory. If we go down, I'll go and show you in a moment, but if we go down to the industrial area, what will happen is, you, there's, well not, not will happen, but what's there is a building, and it's called the Three Guys, like, Food Distribution Center, thanks you little crown for Vic noob, um, you've got your little dis distribution center, so we'll just go down there now, we'll stick to a low speed, because that crown Vic's going to start chasing me in a minute. Yep, there it is. It's gone past though. Um, here. So, Free Guys Distribution Center. We've got the food truck. So, maybe the food truck could unlock something where you can come in and maybe go inside the building, grab some boxes, put them in your truck and deliver them to Free Guys. Or, we could be getting a new Free Guys truck, which you come here, you load up, and then you take it back to the um, Free Guys place. And also, there could be like another pickup call. Where the a food truck auto spawns in a random parking lot anywhere on the map, and you could have to go and collect them from inside here and um, take them back to your vehicle. I mean, take them back to the food truck, load them into the food truck, and then that call will be done. That would be cool as well, just like AI spawning. If you can't drive them or anything, they're just like a mesh kind of that spawns, and you can go deliver them to you. Like, you go to the back door. And you have to hold it, or obviously on tablet, mobile device, you just have to like hold, and then it will go. That would actually be super cool. So that's a lot of different ideas. I definitely think they're going to be updating the warehouses sometime soon. Uh, I think ERC is kind of growing a lot now. The map's changed. Um, we're still getting most of the time our two weekly updates. We've got a command center, so we could be seeing semi trucks because a lot of people want those. Now we're starting to get larger vehicles into the game, maybe more vehicles with interiors. So many ideas and so many videos to create, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. The thumbnail and everything took a long time. I've also got another part to this coming out on the Clips channel soon with my new thumbnail designer and stuff. So it's all going really well. Um, we do want an editor, so go and join my Discord server, the link just, uh, things in there, or go and uh, find my Twitter. It isn't linked in the description, sadly, but if you do find it, you will be able to find the little editor thing. I'm going to be having a pursuit with a van. doesn't really happen. Oh my goodness. That guy's good now. Eject him if he gets in. He's got cuffs. Cuff pressure. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I'll help a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!